big Tim Burton fan, so is there any particular character, line of dialogue, or maybe even a song that you're kind of obsessed with? Mm. Go. Lydia Dietz. Go. I myself am strange and unusual. What's yours? <laughs> uh, I would say it would be uh, Pee Wee Herman. Tell him Large Marge sent you? Yes, that's a good one. I approve of that. Yes. Right. yes I'm a loner, daughter, a rebel. I know that's what everyone quotes, but um, it's, uh, you can't beat it. Yeah. And what is it like actually getting cast in a Tim Burton movie? How does that work? Does he call you and you kind of just say yes no matter what he asks you to do? Well, no, I auditioned, auditioned. Yeah. 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 And what does an audition process entail with him? He's there, I assume. Um, he was not, not there. He was not there for my audition, which I think was. So far, our stories are almost the same. They are almost yeah. the same. <laughs> Um, yeah, he wasn't there, which I, I would have been crippled by nerves, yeah. I think, if he had been there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and Jeannie McCarthy, the casting director, really, like, works with you and makes you feel She's comfortable. She's the best. She's the best. I don't think I would have gotten the part if not for her. This is just a quick sidebar about casting directors. I think a great casting director can be, is, wants to help. It's yeah. Like a, there's a certain, like, she was so helpful. Yeah. Uh, and gave me so many pointers. So, yeah, so nice. same here. I don't I'd... think I could have gotten it without her yeah. help. Thanks, so what was it like you. when you first got there with him? Was there that crippling ner nervousness? And did he kind of ease you into it at all? For sure. I know I um, was in hair and makeup for, because getting into like the period look takes a long time. So I'm in hair and makeup for a few hours leading up to then going to meet Tim. So it was like, oh my God, like those two hours were like, you know, Pretty horrible. <laughs> uh, but when I met him, he immediately put me at ease and I felt comfortable. But, you know, he's an idol of mine, so meeting him was scary. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous to go into that room after this. I'm he's sure. He's so nice, though. He's so nice, you're gonna love it. I've yeah. only heard the best. Can you tell me a little bit about your first impression reading the script? It actually reminds me a little of Listen Up, Philip, where mm. it's a character who has like a really unique sense of humor, and I don't know if you could read it in the script, but on screen it really comes to life because of your intonation and the editing. Oh. Yeah, well, I I don't know. I mean, my my when I read the script, I Kristen reminded me that on the cover of the script was uh, this picture, this image, and um, you know I knew you know these paintings you, you, because they've been knocked off and replicated and like even like copied, but like for cartoons with big just like and um, but I had no idea what was really going on. And I'm, I'm a fan of just documentaries and kind of real life stuff. So to learn that something like this actually occurred, um, especially behind something you're so familiar with, it blew my mind. And I honestly, I could say that uh, even if Tim Burton let's say, was not involved in this movie at all, I would still, like, it's not, I didn't, it's not, I gotta be in this movie because it's Tim Burton. I, I loved the movie. Yeah. Uh, I love the script, and I, I thought it was really fascinating. I'm a big fan of your character in this because I feel Thank like you. this movie really. <laughs> I feel like this movie really needed her because she's really one of the only people that says what the audience is thinking. Right. Were you aware of that while you were portraying her? Yeah, I, I knew as soon as I read it. I was like, okay, I, I understand the 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 job that my character has to do and how she services the bigger story. And she's like the audience's sort of way in, and um, yeah, and somebody to just be like, what are you doing? So yeah. And now, of course, I have to ask about Jessica Jones. Sure. sure. You've heard that a lot in the past few days. Interview's but over. I'm... Let's pull it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm trying that, to give you a flashback. That flash would be like the, the worst joke ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Guys, pull it. Cut it. Let's edit it out. Saying. Pop the tape out. She's out. Hey, it's all digital now. I'm yeah. safe. Um... Pause it. Rewind it. Delete it. <laughs> omit. This is amazing. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. Part of the reason I was so excited that the show is happening is because you got the role. And I Thank heard that you. there was a lot of competition for it. So can you tell me about the audition process? Did you walk out of that saying, like, I nailed it? Um, listen, I would always just try to, like, just prepare and do as much prep work as possible and do my best and not think about anything else. So I left the feeling like I can sleep tonight either way as I feel like I did a good job. So that's it. It was a long process, though. And how did you celebrate when you found out the good news? I, honestly, I was like, I just wanted to get to work immediately. I was like screaming and stuttering and, and lost for words. And I just wanted to get to work. I don't blame you. What if you were scream stuttering? 
I was. Like, like, whatever, uh, 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 like the sounds that came out of me yeah, made yeah, yeah. no sense. Yeah, that's interesting. So I was no, very I like excited. That. It's weird when the body gets so excited, it can't express itself, but just in weird stuttered noises. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, I relate to that. I think, I, I feel like the volume got louder too. Yeah, I was like, no, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> like, huge. It's cool.